Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today I'm with my Grand Design Imagine 2600 RB. I'm going to do a nice upgrade here on, I guess you would call the control center underneath the storage area in the front. Um, I've wanted to do this for a couple years now, but um, I want to get rid of this panel here and put in a piece of clear plexiglass or Lexan. And I'm actually going to take the piece so it's big enough to come all the way to the front because I want to kind of provide a barrier here because what happened when I was camping this year is I had kind of a bad connection here and a little bit of spraying off the city water connection and it was starting to spray into the storage bay area so this will prevent that so what I'm going to be using is a piece of 24 inch by 24 inch uh, Lexan that's quarter inch thick. I picked it up at Granger, but you can also get it on Amazon I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. Let's get started The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take apart these eight screws There's four on this side and four on this side. And I'm just going to zip them off with my drill driver I'm going to reuse my screws. So try and keep an eye on those The trim cover plates. I don't need any more, but you can see what we've got inside. It's pretty easy and to see through now uh, once we get the plexiglass on and to make sure nothing's leaking and just see how everything's going. The one thing I need to do next, I'm not going to have the same exact hole pattern so I'm just going to peel away the protective covering on the panel and then I'll be able to see where I can uh, drill my pilot holes and put the new screws in or I should say reuse the same screws. To drill my pilot holes I'm using a 3 16th diameter drill bit. I wish I could show you me doing all these steps. Unfortunately, I just couldn't locate my tripod today, so sorry about that. I wanted to point out one small detail here. Um, I am putting the plexiglass on the lip of this, uh, I guess you would call it like a drain pan, so that if the water is coming down, it's going to go down the side and into the drain pan and not have to worry about, and, but I will put a little bead of caulk here. Um, but you can see that leaves a little gap underneath. I'm not really concerned about that. The main idea is just the plexiglass is protecting the wiring and the plumbing from getting hit by other stuff inside the storage bay here. And you can see I've got that first screw in up at the top. All right, guys, so this is the finished product. Got the four screws on both sides. Let's reuse the screws. The 3 16 bit was perfect. Just got to clean up a little bit here, but all in all, really quick upgrade. Really looking forward to having this extra protection here. So if you liked it and learned something, please give me a thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. And thanks for watching. This is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a great day.